continue to cover Colorado first at five and take you to Arapahoe County and the investigation into a deadly car accident. Two cars went out of control and crashed into two separate buildings. One of the drivers was killed, the second injured, happened early this morning near Hampton and Lafayette in Cherry Hills Village. Michael Abeda live on that scene tonight. Michael, you learned that spot has seen several accidents, a lot like this one. Yeah, Jim, you know, this building seems to be one of those that just is a target for car crashes. As a matter of fact, if you look behind me, that lighter colored panel there next to the bricks, that was just repaired from an accident back in July. Now, one business owner is concerned for the safety of his employees and guests because he says the accidents may just keep getting worse and worse. Customers hoping to get their morning cup of joe at Caribou Coffee on Hamden in 285 in Cherry Hills Village Friday had to find another place. The shop was closed because for the third time recently, the building that houses it was hit by a car. This time, the driver of the black car that landed on the side of Caribou Coffee was killed. The driver of the red car is said to be a woman in her 50s, and she was taken to nearby Swedish Hospital with serious injuries. Back in the fall of 2020, South Metro Fire posted this video of a car that crashed into the shop. The driver was critically injured and the building suffered extensive damage and a water leak. It just begs me to question like what's going on on Hamden that this has been the third time. I mean, I think the last one was just like a month, a little over a month ago. So we have to do something. About Pino Savarino knows sir. the story all too well. He owns Pino's Place, an Italian restaurant next door. He says his place was demolished by a truck four years ago. The truck you went all, all through here, smashed the dishwash, the sink, and the uh, cooler. They had to close for six weeks during the busy holiday season, but he also knows it could have been much worse. We lost a lot of income, but this is okay. We don't want to kill anybody that's important. He worries next time they may not be so lucky. I'm just concerned. Now, because 285 here is a state highway, CDOT would be in charge of putting any kind of guardrail there. They said that they have looked at the area and they are looking for funding to get that done, including working with the city of Cherry Hills Village. I also got a response from the shopping center here this afternoon. They said that they are very saddened by the loss of life here and that they are working with CDOT in the city of Cherry Hills Village to get something installed. They'd like to see a guardrail or a barrier. In Cherry Hills Village, Mike Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first. Uh, thank you, Michael. At least four people have now come down with West Nile virus in Colorado.